for this middleweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And This is the moment U.S. fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the challenger, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the world corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, with a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Israel, the last night of the year, All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down okay, right now. You ready? All right, here we go. UFC Middleweight Championship is on the line. Straight right hand now just misses. This could be it right here. The champ is in deep danger here. He's really hurt, and he is gonna lose his title if he can't recover. with that right hand. Nice leg kick. Lands the overhand right. Check that one. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Misses there with the left. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Let's try to establish that jab. And he switches his stance yet again. Just out of range with that right hook. The 
Olympic silver medalist Romero gets hit by that leg kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Effective use of the jab there by Romero. Oh, both men exchange. Second round, round straight ahead. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. Lots of action in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. Second round underway. That's the end of oh! This could be it. Big she body shot body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Shoulder strikes. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Let me show you the total strikes. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. Double underhooks now on the clinch. Oh, oh nice the slam down. there. That one cannot feel good. Left hand is there for Romero. to the head. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Three minutes now to go in round two. Nicely executed sweep winds up in guard. Perfectly timed sweep. This is crazy. Showing good defense here, controlling that arm, keeping him from hitting him. Reversal here, nicely done. Hands a punch there, Joe. Back to the feet now. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and oh. big shots. He's oh, he's getting hit. Big body, body shot. shot there too. Well, he's wow. Oh. But that one really hurt him. Nice leg kick. Went for the head kick. Goes for a single. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Nice hammer fist. Into side control again. Fifteen seconds to go. Pretty good right hand. He's now working from side control again. All right, that's the end of round number two. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Thank you very much, Carly Baker.
You ready? You ready? Two All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. How about that chin? Defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. Hard overhand punch. Head kick. Oh, and he connects there. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Romero. Oh! He's getting tagged. Oh, big left. Now he goes for the single leg. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Head kick! Oh! Big left hand! He's got him here. Oh! And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Tries to pass, but can't. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he's gonna try to take the back. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Oh, Do you it. believe That's it. That's it. it? The fight is over. He landed a huge barrage of strikes all night long and finally got the TKO. Yeah, that's a good stoppage there, Joe. The fighter stopped defending himself. He certainly wasn't intelligently defending himself, even though he was trying to keep himself in the fight. And again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. And here's where the ref called it. And there he is, the king of the 185-pounders, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion, your winner tonight by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bermiata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC middleweight champion of the world. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a 